In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Drawboard, which is a Windows 10 application, which is available in the Microsoft Store. Now you can install this. There is a trial. At the end of the trial, you would actually have to purchase Drawboard. If there are enough teachers who show interest, we can certainly look at getting this for uh, the math department or other departments within the district. I've already taken the liberty of adding a PDF to Drawboard, but if I wanted to do this from scratch, I can click the plus button and uh, upload my PDF from my desktop or Google Drive. And I'm going to click on that and it's going to open it up. And now that I have this open, a couple of things I wanted to point out. One is that I'm zoomed in at 100% and depending on your screen and resolution, you may need to zoom more than that if you want to fill your screen. As I zoom out, you can see I, I see the black space around my PDF. But if I was trying to work with a document or let's say I had uh, math equations in here that I wanted to work on and show students how to solve or have them solve, I probably would want to zoom in. Up here in the top right hand corner, you can see this is page one of three. And as I scroll through, I'll switch to page two. And then as I continue scrolling them on on page three. Now, what's unique about this application is its interface. So there's a toolbar over here on the right hand side, which is sort of like your quick launch toolbar for particular tools that you want to use. But the full menu is actually this draw board icon. So if I click on that, you'll see it spins out. It's circular. And then for each of these different tools, let's say I want to look at the options for eraser. If I click that, I'll jump into another menu. This allows me to select the thickness or size of the eraser. And to go back, I simply click the arrow in the middle. And that works for any of these options within Drawboard. So let's say I want to change my pen color. I click the arrow next to pen. I can choose from one of these preformatted colors or I can even go in and get uh, something else. So if I don't like this default yellow, maybe I want more of a bronze or tan, I can select this. I click that arrow, I jump back one level. Um, I can choose a size, right? So let's do, let's say four. So I'm selecting that. And then if I click the arrow again, I'll jump right back in uh, to the main menu. So real quickly, you have two different pen colors that you can have at the ready uh, at all times. You can add things to the toolbar. Uh, that's how you do that here. You can do that either by clicking add or you can click the plus button down here on the quick launch toolbar. You can insert things into your PDF. We've got images, signature, note, bookmark, text, shapes, and measure. You can underline highlight or strike out text within your PDF. You of course have undo and redo. And then if I click this again, it will hide the menu. So this functions very much like if I was to use smart notebook to annotate a PDF, I can click on the pen. I can write in here. Of course I can circle things and because I'm doing this demo with my mouse. It's going to be very hard for me to write anything that's actually going to look legible. Um, but I just wanted to demonstrate how that works. I can select my other pen here and then I can, highlight this I've demonstrated how to mark up the PDF. But let's say, for example, I wanted to add additional pages to this. Maybe we want to illustrate something to students on the fly. It's not something that I included in the original document. What I can do is go to the menu over here in the top left corner. I click those three lines and I'm going to go to here, which is document options and page manipulation. And here's where you can insert additional pages. So I can click insert. Let's say I want two additional pages. I can say after or before. And I can say, let's do page three. I check that, say, yes, that's what I want to do. And now if I scroll down, let's hide that menu. We should have page four, which is blank and page five, which is blank. And now I could just click on my pen and I can go in here and I could annotate and add content to those blank pages. And of course you can save this as a PDF as well. So once you're done annotating, you've added a couple pages to this. I can click that menu again, do save as, save this as a PDF, and then I could upload that to PowerSchool Learning. So that is a quick look at Drawboard. Again, this is a Windows 10 application, which you can use uh, as a replacement for Smart Notebook.